this is our first time at ACL. I guess the last festival we played here was Super Southwest at the start of last year, but I'm excited to see it. This is about the eighth or ninth time that we've been to the States, and I think this is our last one on this I, album. So. I would describe this one as hands down the best one yet. I think it's because there's been a lot more. I guess we're coming to the end of the cycle, so generally on a gig day we don't have a lot of promo anymore. So you can kind of go and see something in the city, or like sit yeah. down and try and write a song. And I guess like that's a lot better headspace-wise. But you know you have to put in the work when it's time to do the work, and then when you get to this point, you can just enjoy the breathing space. Mm, it's chill. You know we worked so hard in the last two years. The shows are the biggest shows we've ever played, and the the reactions yeah. are mind blowing. And like everyone that comes to our shows seems really invested, invested beyond just a band that they heard on a blog or on the radio or whatever. The people seem to really care about the band and that's uh, it's really important to us, you know. We've become pretty big on, on uh, rewards for the people that come and wait from like midday when we're playing at 10 o'clock at night. We like to go and we buy them donuts and one ice time lollies. we get them ice lollies. Oh wait, are they called ice, ice poles, popsicles, popsicles ice lollies. Under the Tide is the next slash current single in the States and it's Martin's jam this time so I get a pretty cushy ride of it, I don't have to, <laughs> just a little bit of keyboard, a little bit of backing vocals, pretty easy. It's just one of these songs I think that because it's quite dancey it has like, it, and it has a really nice kind of dynamic, like the verses are quite laid back and then the choruses are punchy and like it gets people sort of jumping up and down and sort of, I don't know, it's just a great song to play live. Like the first album, it will be all about the songwriting first and foremost. Like how they are dressed will really depend on how we are f feeling as we record the album. You know, how what inspire what is inspiring us at the time, be it music from 50 years ago or a minute ago. You know, it's like so. I don't know. We don't really know exactly how the album's going to sound on the whole yet, and I, I'm quite excited by that because it's more it's more fun that way.